and welcome back <coughs> to this final segment of the show for today. We're talking to Alana McLaughlin, and the uh, topic is child neglect and abuse, and she's given us some information in reference to what she considers to be some of the classic cases of child abuse and neglect, even including some of the more recent developments, talking about un uh, cases that are still open in reference to this. But now she has agreed to uh, talk about child abuse and substance and drug abuse. And of course, Alana, Alana let's uh, pick up uh, with uh, some information in reference to uh, child abuse and neglect, as well as drug and substance abuse as part of what you consider to be child abuse. Substance. Well, substance abuse is basically, it's going around telling people, hey, you want to come try some heroin, some, some coke, some, some drugs, some weed, some pot? You want to come smoke this? You want to come smoke out of a pipe or something? No. And, oh, you can be testing your friends. Hey, girl, let's go to this party and go smoke. No. No. All, the only thing I have to say is no. You can, you can go around doing stuff, but just you should really try to stop it in, instead of encouraging these young kids because they don't know any better. Th they don't know right from wrong. They don't know right from left. You need, you need to help these kids instead of influencing them to do all these bad things. I've seen brothers go up there, hey, you want to go beat up this kid? I'm going to go beat up this kid. The little kid says, can I come? They, they, if they see their brother or their sister going up doing that, they'll, they'll automatically think if they're doing it, then it's the right thing, but it isn't. It isn't. And, and, and so go on. It's, it's real sad to see these kids nowadays and going around smoking, smoking different things, uh, listening to all this bad music. Kids my, kids my age used to cuss people out, stick up their middle fingers, rob people, shoot people. And, and that's not even going, that's the minimum. Going to the extreme would be uh, robbing the president. Mm -hmm. And, 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 <laughs> and so in a real sense, Lana, you, you, you've seen all of these things and, and, and you believe that uh, somehow that your testimony in reference to them can influence uh, other young people that they ought not to be involved in it and will have some kind of impact upon making them move away from these things. What are some of the health habits uh, 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 health uh, related to some of this uh, substance abuse and drug abuse, uh, Lana? Well, most kids don't know that 50, uh, that if you have a step parent uh, and your biological dad or a mother and a step mom or step dad, the step parent is 100% more likely to kill as in beat them to death and to beat the biological son or daughter because they think that once the kid's out the way, they can have the parent all to themselves. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, that's being what you call selfish inconsiderate and being a plain jerk mm -hmm. that's just being mean that's just low down mean mm -hmm. but it's just that all these people go around like in libya uh, uh this man has been uh he's been in power for 42 years and he's not giving up that's called sharing that they gave you that power now you owe them 42 years worth of you owe them for 42 years worth 42 and and the more you say the more you owe them so i think if you just take off your hat and give it to them back just mm -hmm. just just give it to them just give back to them just give back mm -hmm. and, and and so you do know of uh some of some issues in which uh, young children are involved in 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 your school and and, and not only in your school in all communities and etc and you think that somehow uh, some of the things that you're saying would influence them as it has uh, in, in, in undoubtedly influenced them dealing with your uh, bully club. Now tell me the dimensions about this bully club. I think you've mentioned it on a couple of occasions. I have. Talk well, about it. I saw all these kids being bullied and all this substance abuse and I just got a thought in my head immediately. We should start a bully group. So I got my guidance counselor, um, Linda Grayson, and she is our, she is our like founder of it and she kind of helps us, and she uh, helps us learn from right from wrong, and she helps us learn that 
turn on the other cheek. Somebody punches you, turn the other cheek. Turn the other cheek. Don't fight back. Like Martin Luther King said, I have a dream that we would all walk in peace, that we would all be in peace, that, I w that we would all love each other, that we would all hug each other. And the way I see it is all these kids nowadays are doing the exact opposite. And Martin Luther King did so much for us. Don't you think you can at least give a little back? I mean, he has gone to the grave now. Rest in peace. But don't you think you can give him back some, just a little bit? Just give him back a tidbit. Just don't fight for once, just for one time. I've tried to convince so many kids to do this. And some have believed me, but some have gone around pushing people, hitting people, smacking people. And I just say, Okay, and, and, and so Lonnie, you, you mentioned uh, Dr. Martin Luther King, uh, his uh, celebration and the dedication of his uh, monument. And you think that if they uh, pay attention to uh, Dr. Martin Luther King, uh, I have a dream and that kind of thing, that they would be inspired to uh, stop bullying and be inspired to uh, stop uh, taking advantage of other folks. Do you think that that would be a, a good role model? And if so, why do you think that would be so? I do, because Martin Luther King was such a great person. He was, he was good-hearted. He was, he was, he was a good person. But he was killed by somebody who thought that violence was the right thing to do. And I can't even imagine anybody thinking that violence is the right thing to do because, you know, saying I love you, saying God bless you, it's always the right thing to do because God tells you it's the right thing to do because if you bother to read the Bible, if you even bother, just, just one chapter, Luke or, or Matthew, just if you read it, you will understand that all the things that God does for us, he does it because he loves us. And, and God, he is so great to us. He has given us life. He makes it possible for us to live. He makes it possible for us to to breathe his God God bless thank you now if, if, you, if you think that they had some kind of uh, religious experience that that would have an impact upon uh, their attitude toward one another and is, is, is that what you're saying most most kids that go around doing drugs and stuff nobody knows that most of them are atheists most of them don't believe in a God most of them They've lived their whole life in the projects, and they don't believe that God works for them. They believe that God goes up for everybody else except them, and that is not true because God loves you. God loves everybody. He loves everybody equally. Just like a pizza, you split it equally. He loves you equally. He gives you as much love as he gives to your mom, as he gives to your brother. He loves you with his heart, and he has such a big heart. Okay, very good. And Lana, I, I think that you've given us uh, quite a bit of information about uh, child neglect and child abuse and uh, talked about some of what we consider to be the classic cases of child neglect and uh, child abuse. And you think that uh, by spreading the word among your uh, peers, the children in, in your school, that this will have some impact upon change in their, their lives? I wouldn't mind going down the hall, you know, God bless you. God just... I'll convince you won't be, I'll convince so many kids to even get baptized. I know I know one person. I, I asked him if he's ever been baptized. He said no. And I said, Do you believe in God? He said, Yes, but I want to. The next day he got baptized. And I was I was just like, Thank you, God, for giving him the opportunity. Just God gives you opportunity. He gives you what you need. He gives you water. He gives you a roof over your head. He gives you love. Okay, and Lana, let me uh, thank you for giving us that display of uh, child neglect and child abuse and the love of God and uh, some of the things that perhaps some of the young people your age might see and they can say that uh, they would like to uh, do what Lana is doing. And, of course, uh, we'll be back with our audience uh, again this time next week. Thank you and good morning. Thank you.